Uh huh. Baking soda, huh? Hey, you got any baking baking soda? No, I'm sorry. If you're making the rounds, though, I could really do with some cough drops. Clarence's chest is all mucked up. I'll keep an eye out. Hey, you got any baking soda? What the fuck do I look like, a baker? Whoa, sorry for asking. I'll check elsewhere. Slow down, retard. I can get you some, don't worry. Just come back with some cough drops and I'll swap you. The good shit, too. I want to get buzzed. Cough drops? Yeah, cough drops. What are you... <sighs> Why do you have to use that word? I didn't mean to say it the first time, either. Hey, you got any baking soda by, by chance? Yeah, I got some baking soda. Nothing else cures my rashes. Uh, why am I getting- <laughs> I'm so losing myself in these voices! Oh, this game! Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I got some baking soda. Nothing else cures my rashes quite as well. Gross. I can part with the box so you can find me a fresh cucumber. It's hard to find good produce in here, if you know what I mean. Gross. These people are f <laughs> fucking insane. Boy, it's real nice having a new bunkmate. Uh-huh. Hey, you know where I can get any baking soda around here? Baking soda? No, not really. Speaking of- <laughs> I keep changing his voice. Speaking of baking, though, you wouldn't happen to have one of those buns left, would you? From, from lunch? Yeah, I do, actually. Well, I got some cough drops if you're looking to trade. I already had a few of them, but I don't need the rest. I'd much rather have another bun! You want to trade my still bun for your cough drops? Yeah, that's a, per that's a pretty fair deal, I suppose. Oh, great! It's still a little warm! I should have just gone to the fucking salon. Holy shit. Hey, I found some cough drops. What the hell took you so long? I got your baking soda ages ago. You gonna trade me or what? Trade the cough drop? Yeah. Alright, deal. Alright, X strength. Good job. Now piss off. No, I'm sorry if you're making the rounds though. I can really do some cough drops. Clarence's his chest is all mucked up. I'll keep an eye out. Oh shit, I already traded. Ah, goddamn. Okay, whatever. Ah, oh, I'm confused now. He needed the baking soda. Hey, I've got your baking soda. That's what I'm talking about. All right, give me a second to get things ready. Come see me when you're ready to deliver things. Shouldn't take me too long to get prepared. Get it prepped. All right, sounds good to me. Uh, I guess I'm ready. Any luck finding me a big fat cucumber? Still working on it, lady. Hey, is it ready to go yet? Yeah, here you go. I received a dirty brick. Is that? Yeah, whole brick! Shit's got bad though to make up for the stuff I accidentally sold already. If I were you, I wouldn't try skimming any. Not only would we'll register over there literally murder you, but your brain will probably explode or something. I'm not a particularly big fan of the client, so don't worry about that. I'd just get out of there after delivery if I were you. I don't exactly plan on sticking around. Alright then, good luck with whatever. Hey, I've got this thing I'm supposed to give you. Is that a yes, or...? Am I supposed to follow you? I'm just gonna follow you. Hey, so do you want to take this package off me now and I can get out of your hair, or what? This would probably go a lot smoother if you said something, you know? You're kidding me, right? Hey, where's Laszlo? You're not my normal guy. Uh, he's a bit busy. Set me instead, yeah? Whatever, you're not a journalist, are you? Nope, not an article to my name. Good, good. I hate journalists. Bunch of horrible rumor mongers, if you ask me. So this is yours, I take it? <laughs> Bad brick. Yeah, it's good stuff. Woohoo! Right, well, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'll leave you to your fun. Hey, not so fast. Yeah, what's up? I can count on your support come election day, right? <laughs> I got a campaign pin. You want my vote? Oh, I so badly want to say this, but you know what? You know what? You know what? Uh... I don't want to fuck this up because <laughs> that part of the game was just so 
out there and I didn't like doing it, so I'm, I don't want to risk ending up in trouble again. I'll just say of course. Yeah, of course! Best mayor ever! Yeah, yeah, no need to butter me up. I'm already committed to another round of funding for the shelter. You and all your little friends will have plenty to play with. Tell me, do you guys want an infirmary or more buns at lunchtime? Gee, that's a tough one. And I'm an evil person, so instead of saying infirmary, which would be extremely beneficial to them, I'm just gonna say, I guess more food at lunch would be good. I found that place with so many buns, you won't know what to do with them. See ya. This town is even more corrupt than I thought. You need to, like, get the fuck back to Larry's place, dude. Like, now. Shit, where'd the day go? I gotta get back to Larry's place. Okay, uh, stamina. Uh, stamina's alright, I guess. Shoot, my voice is, like... Shot. Oh, and for those who might be wondering, um, about, you know, back when I was talking to that one homeless person, I was like, why are you using the R word? I personally don't like to use it, but I'm not, like, super offended if somebody uses it. I know that sounds kind of dumb and probably kind of counterproductive. There are some words that I myself don't like saying, but I don't mind hearing other people say, if that makes sense. And that's just one of those words. I don't know, it just sounds... It just sounds too harsh to me. I did slip up on the first time though. So. Okay, I, I've done it again. I, I don't know where the fuck Larry lives. I'm probably gonna cut this part out. Hey look, I found somebody. You wanna challenge me to rock, paper, scissors? Best three out of five. Bet five, get back. No! I'm not gambling. No, I'm not in the mood. Hey lady, do you think you could help me out? So you need my help? Sure, what can I do for you? Well, I lost my fishing pole. I'm just gonna have to stop you right there and make a note that I obviously was not paying attention during this part because as you can clearly see by this kid's sprite, he is indeed holding a fishing pole. So no, you are not seeing or hearing wrong. He has lost his fishing pole and yet he is still holding a fishing pole. But again, I don't make a comment on that. However, this is what post commentary is for. Anyway, continuing. I was using the fish I catch to feed my family. Some thug who hangs out under the bridge stole it. Now my family's gonna die if I can't catch a few lake crabs. If you can catch me a lake crab, I can help you out. Really? How can you help? Well, I'm not sure if you know this, but the beaten water system is heavily polluted. I know all the spots in town where you can catch fish that are still safe to eat. I can mark them for you. I already marked that one down there with my initials. FK? In the coffee? FK are my initials, but you could just call me Fishing Kid. I see the spot. What else do I need? Well, uh, well, you need, you need, uh, well, you need is some kind of fishing pole. <laughs> you could probably pick one up at the pond shop. If you bring me a lake crab, I promise it'll, I'll go mark the rest of the fishing spots in town for you. That one's easy enough. Please don't take too long. I'm not sure how much longer we can make it without lake crab. Lake crab is all we eat. Nothing else compares. All right, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, so normally, you know, being that I'm a bad person, I wouldn't help somebody out. But, of course, the fish are beneficial to us. Um, to help keep our stamina up. So, that is why I'm helping him out. So that we can keep fishing. Because I'm not going to spend money on food if I can just get the fish for free. So you got my fish yet? Need a lake crab, right? Sure, here you go. One fresh lake crab. Wee! Thanks so much! You held up your end of the deal. I'll go mark the rest of the fishing spots in town. Try not to overfish though, okay? My family needs to eat too. Good luck, kid. Thanks for the fishing tip. Catch you later, smelly pants. Oh, fuck you, kid! You know what? I already did environmentally degrade the fish population, so yeah, fuck you! Stamina's all right. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to frickin' find Larry's but Oh, there it is. What the fuck, Larry? What kind of painting photo is that? 
Oh, kitty. All right, well, you know what? Screw this day, man. I did not see that happening at all. I always wonder what would happen, though, if you chose not to go to the salon. I guess this couch will have to do for the night. Go ahead and write in the journal. Ugh, I can't take anymore! Hey, you okay over there, Ash? No, I really don't think so. If I had to write one more goddamn word, I swear to God I'm going to lose my mind and shove this pencil right through your face. Sam, why the hell did I let you convince me this was a good idea? Hush, you'll be thanking me when we're rich. Look, if it's getting to you, let's take a break. Yes, please. We got any beers left? Guess not. You got any cash for more? What do you think? This sucks. What are we wasting our time here for? All these essays aren't going to mean shit once we graduate. Honestly, we'd probably be better off dropping out now and getting back on track with the project. Oh, don't be such a baby. What's Professor McAllister always telling us? You gotta pay your dues in this life. There is no road to easy street no matter what we think. Sooner or later, you gotta deliver the effort owed. Necessary effort or not, I'm still taking a break. You wanna hit the student lounge with me? I need to borrow your mail card. Actually, I was thinking of spending some time up in the observatory for a change. I can meet you afterwards, though, if you want. Maybe see if the nachos aren't too stale today. Since when the hell did you give a crap about stargazing or whatever they do up there? You gonna go looking for little green men? Eh, not exactly. More like a heavenly body if you catch my drift. Wait, are you talking about a guy? Why didn't you say something earlier? I didn't think it was a big deal. We haven't even spoken yet. At this point, I'd say it's more like I'm stalking him and he hasn't noticed me, to be honest. Besides, I probably don't even have a shot. Smart, good-looking, really charismatic. He's just about as perfect as they come. Way out of my league. Well, what's your battle plan, then? Battle plan? Yeah, you can't just march up there without a plan or you're gonna blow it. You only get one chance to make a solid first impression and you've gotta make it a good one. Who knows, you two could be soulmates and not even realize it. You don't wanna mess that up. Shit, well, when you put it that way... You gotta help me, I'm horrible with this stuff. I don't even know if he'd be into me. You gotta help me, Ash. What do you want me to do about it? Well, I don't know. Recon or something. Go find out what he's into and stuff. Just go strike up a conversation and then come back here with a report on everything. Yeah, because this is gonna go so well, right? Like you said, I only get one chance at this and I really do want to make a good impression. Knowing a little more couldn't hurt, right? I don't know. You're kind of overanalyzing things now. Please, pretty please. You'll be my best friend forever and ever. You want me to go spy on your crush for you? You know what? Come on, you don't need me. You just need a little confidence is all. You're right, you're right. I just need to take a few deep breaths, work up the courage, and just introduce myself. What's the worst that could happen, right? We could have a repeat of last time. <laughs> Please, don't remind me. You promise we never speak of that again. Oh, relax. You've got to look on the bright side. What's that? It couldn't be any worse. You're no help at all, you know that? At least come with me, would you? For the moral support? I was really looking forward to nachos, though. You know what? Nachos sounds good right now. Goddamn. Help me out here and I'll buy you so many nachos you'll die of cheesy veins. Yes, please. Alright, now we're talking. Here, take my mail card and you can pick them up on your way back or whatever. That reminds me of high school, man. Like, I remember sometimes I'd go to school and... Oh, but the food there was, like, super fucking expensive. Like, one slice of pizza was over three bucks, if I remember correctly. But they also had nachos. Oh my god, when I was able to get nachos, I was so happy. And they weren't even, like, hardcore nachos either. They were just, like, the chips and the cheese. It's not like they had, you know, like, the the beans and the salsa and the black olives and the lettuce and the tomato. I mean, all that stuff. It wasn't, like, the super nacho kind of thing. And I still liked it. Anyway. Just meet me in, in the observatory first. I got class in a bit and I want to get this over with. Roger that, compadre. Promise me you won't leave me hanging and go stuff your face with not with nachos without me? It's very tempting, but you know I can't do that, Sam. The nachos. They called to me. I'm serious. Don't leave me high and dry. I'll freeze up and make a fool of myself. Well, with that attitude. Relax. What are friends for, right? Okay, I'll meet you up there. Wish me luck. Maybe it would have turned out better if I didn't procrastinate so much. Oh my god, this sounds- I- oh my god. 
So I've obviously already graduated from college, and but I, I procrastinated so badly, and yet I still got shit done, which is good. So cheap ass beer is better than no beer, but we don't even have that anymore. Sam's waste basket, back <laughs> Sam's waste basket is always so full. We should empty it more regularly. Sam's always leaving drinks half finished. I wonder if there's any coffee down in the student lounge. Man, I'd kill for a fresh cup of coffee right now. Shit! How does Sam have so much more written than me? Oh, okay. Sure would be nice to open this thing one day and see something other than nothing staring back. I don't I don't think I've even got anything clean in here anyway. No sense changing. Right. Nobody seems to be home. Huh, I wonder where everyone went. This place feels like a ghost town. Are we in Silent Hill now? What What the fuck? Hello, anybody in there? This isn't my dorm room. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Hmm, nobody's home. My dorm room's on the other side of the hallway. Well, we ain't even going there. We're going to the elevator. We're going to go to the <laughs> student lounge. <laughs> Hooray! <gasps> they got Nintendo! I wonder if anyone's beaten my high score in Rosmus Man yet. Come on, sweetheart, it's really not that hard. Look, if you can't figure out how to count change now, your job at Bacon Barn is gonna be a lot more difficult than you could possibly imagine. Wow, you're an asshole! You know what? Forget the change, keep it. Consider it the first of many inevitable coin based donations you'll receive in life. Ah, uh, Ash, I didn't see you there. How's the paper coming? It's fine, I guess, Professor McAllister. You guess. I'd expect that kind of ambivalence from most of the idiots in my class, but you're twice as smart as any of those mongoloids. What was your thesis about again? My thesis? Oh, God. Well, that's gross. I'm not doing that one. The hero's journey, that also, that's, well, I mean, that doesn't sound gross, but that sounds like you're fooling yourself. Medium awareness and deterministic reality. Uh, none of these sound good, to be honest. Let's just do this one. Whoa, what? <laughs> it's about the deterministic reality in which all fictional protagonists exist within, and how that mirrors the actual theoretical principle. Now that's something worth reading. It poses a rather interesting question, doesn't it? After all, if you're just the protagonist in the story of your own life, wouldn't you be bound by a similar sort of predestiny? Alright, game. Get a meta now. Wait, what? I don't think about that one too hard. You'll be scratching your head for a lifetime. I'm glad to see someone around here has some form of, in of initiative these days. I swear, it's like this school was designed to create subpar thinkers at an institutional level. What do you mean? I just wish more students gave a damn about the work these days, but it really doesn't matter. With the new appeals board in place, it's not really worth my time failing students anymore. You could hand in literally anything and still get your worthless diploma. So, what am I doing this essay for again? Because you're not here to learn what I'm teaching in those lectures, Ash. You're here to learn how to work hard, because out there in the real world, there are no free passes. I'm not afraid of a little work. Stale nachos are all just part of the writing process, right? Hey, nachos are amazing. This is just a little sanity snack. I'm not here to judge you. Life will take care of that all on its own. Responsibility is about a lot more than getting to bed on time and brushing your teeth every morning. It's about owning the choices that define your life and being the reason for your fate, good or bad. Only you can decide what that means to you. Enjoy your afternoon, Ash. I'll see you in class. Wow, Professor, you're so fucking deep there. Uh... Why would they keep her permanently swiping up? Okay, whatever. That Professor McAllister is a real asshole. No wonder he's still single at his age. Finally! He's not so bad once you get to know him. Can I get some nachos? Nachos? Yeah, tortilla chips with cheese on them? Nachos. See, and now she's being the asshole, so she really wouldn't have room to talk anyway. Oh, nachos! Yeah, you got your meal card? Sure, here you go. These things are so much easier than counting out change all the time, don't you think? Well, I will admit, yeah. Counting out change sucks. Yeah, sure. Oh, it looks like this is the last of the money on your mail card. Did you still want to get the nachos? Dang, that's it for this month, too. No, I want nachos, man. 
Ah, Sam won't care. I'll take the nachos, please. One order of nachos coming up. Be careful, they're hot. Yeah, thanks. She forgot the jalapenos. They never did figure out who started the fire, so Ash and I got away! Until they reviewed the security tapes, of course. Still, best weekend ever! Speak of the devil! Hey, thanks for meeting me upstairs, by the way. I thought I'd find you here. Oh, I was supposed to say that sarcastically. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I got caught up with something. Don't sweat it. I didn't need you. Michael, meet Ash. We're writing a book together. Is that so? Nice to meet you, Ash. Yeah, um, uh, nice to meet you too. Uh, <laughs> what'd I tell you? Is he hot or what? We're gonna split some nachos and then head out to the bluffs after class. Michael's gonna teach me how to stargaze. You should come, Ash. Oh, uh, I've only got the one blanket. Wouldn't want Ash to get cold. I'm sure we can find another one. Dude, don't do this, dude, don't. That's terrible. It'll be a lot of fun, really. Yeah, it'll be a blast. All three of us. So, what do you say? You want me to come stargazing? Nah, I'm busy. Gotta finish that essay for Professor McAllister. Yeah, can't get behind on that workload, right? That's really too bad. I guess it's just the two of us, then. That's too bad. There's supposed to be a comet passing by tonight, and I'm trying to get a good photo of it. Having an extra hand would make it a lot easier. Hey, don't worry. I'm sure we'll manage. If I see a shooting star, I'll make a wish for you. Oh, I almost forgot. Ash, you got my meal card? Ash is broke, so I buy the food. Well, that was actually a dick thing to say, but anyway. Yeah, but you'll probably want to refill it soon. Go figure. Shit, the office closes in an hour. I better go now if we want to eat this weekend. Wait right here. I'll be back in a second. So, uh, tell me more about that comet. You and Sam are gonna have a great time. Yeah, it's a real shame you can't come. This is a one in a million event, really. A real once in a lifetime sort of deal. Well, that essay is- <laughs> Oh my god, this sounds like me. This is something I would so do. I would just dismiss everything and just be like, yeah, well, anyway, <laughs> that is so something that I would do. Well, that essay isn't going to write itself. Plus, I wouldn't want to be hanging around like some kind of third wheel on your date. Date? Oh no, 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 no. Sam's nice and all, but I'm just not interested in her that way. I thought she was genuinely interested in seeing the stars. You know, as friends. Oh. Well, this is awkward. Do me a favor and let Sam and let Sam down easy, alright? She's my best friend, and she's really into you. She doesn't even know me, but yes, of course. I'll do my best to make sure nobody gets hurt. Thanks, that means a lot to me. I don't know what it is, but Sam's just got the worst luck with relationships. I've always got to pick up the pieces, of course. To be honest, it's pretty simple, really. Sam's just not my type. Oh, like she hasn't heard that one before. Let me guess. You're gay? Wow, okay, don't- oh my god. Don't automatically assume that somebody is gay just because they're not interested. You know, it's game sometimes. Just, ugh. Uh, no. I'm just looking for someone special. Someone with a good heart who looks out for others. Someone who I know will do anything to take care of the people closest to them. Someone truly worthy of my love. Ah, <sighs> dear. But, what are the odds of finding that these days? Well, don't look at me. No! No! You don't even know me! Dude, you don't even know me. And how am I looking out for Sam? I used the last of the money to buy fucking stale nachos. I'm like, I didn't even have to think twice about it. I was like, I'm just gonna fucking have these nachos. And now, they have like no money. And like, if she, and if she doesn't make it to the office in time, it's like, they're gonna have to go a whole month without food just because Ash wanted nachos. Like, seriously. <laughs> what is this? I don't, this is terrible. This whole situation is bonkers. What I mean is someone more like you. I, uh, I'm what? 
Oh, come on. You've been falling all over yourself this entire conversation. Don't get shy with me now. No, I haven't. I've been speaking plainly. You're pretty direct, huh? Why beat around the bush? I think you're cute, and I know you're single. The way you worried about Sam getting our heart broken speaks volumes for your character. Plus, I know you're interested in me. Why else would you keep yourself from tagging along tonight if you weren't? Uh, because... Sam's interested, and I didn't want to be that person that came in between the two of you. Like, And that was before you told me that you weren't interested, so don't even pull that shit. I don't know, I think I'd like to get to know you better. I just don't want to come between you two. I don't think you could. Sam and I go back since before I can remember. Well then, take this. Oh no, 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 not the phone number, no, no, god damn, no. I'll see how tonight goes, and then maybe you could give me a call sometime. Oh my god, no. Damn it! Sheesh, the lineup down there was insane. What'd I miss? Whatever, keep your secrets. Who's ready for nachos? Oh god. Why do I always have to dream of him? Such a vivid dream, too. It's not fair. I don't even know if he's happy. Come to think of it, I never even called when I got the invite. Heh, <laughs> I still remember his number after all. Maybe I should give him a call before I go any further. It's not too late to turn back. Rise and shine, Ash. Oh, you're already up. Actually, I was thinking of going back to bed. Yeah, that sounds like me too. Not a chance. You've got a big day ahead of you. Come on out to the patio. I want you to see something. Really? Do we have to do this now, Larry? Yes, absolutely. Can I make a call first? Who the hell are you going to call at this hour? Come on, it can wait for when we get to the office. Fine, I'm coming. All right, I'm out here. What did you want to show me? You've got a real shitty attitude, you know that? Well, you dragged me out of bed at the crack of dawn. What did you expect? Oh, I'm sorry. Were you having a nice dream? Here, let me get you some coffee. Maybe some caffeine will make you tolerable. Oh, dear God, that sounds like me too. Always gotta have that coffee before I'm semi-decent. Thanks. It's working already. All right, all right. What'd you bring me out here for? I still don't know what we're doing today. Right now, we're watching the sunrise. Are you kidding me? You woke me up for a sunrise? Yeah, and? I could be sleeping, that's what. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this hits really close to home, man. Tell me, Ash, when was the last time you saw the sun come up? When was the last time it wasn't almost noon before you got out of bed? Okay, well, I'm not that bad. I don't sleep for that long. I can at least say that much. I don't know, probably when I was in school. Sam and I used to get so wrapped up in our work we'd pull all-nighters without even realizing it. There was this one time we set our alarms really early for an exam. They wound up going off before we even went to bed. We were completely exhausted through the test. Totally bombed. Didn't matter though, because we were together. I know what you're getting at, by the way. But you could save the hypocrisy, thank you very much. I come out here every single morning, so thank you, so thank yourself very much. This view is about the only thing I actually care about in this apartment. Excuse me for wanting to share that with someone. You've got a wife, you know. Ever think she might appreciate an invitation? Belinda doesn't appreciate much anymore. She's too well fed, you know what I mean? This easy life, it spoiled her. Well, who's to blame for that? Me, I guess. I sold her this life so she'd love me. It ruined everything. <sighs> the sad part is I'd do it all again if I could, just to have her a little longer. You can't chase that good feeling forever, though, Ash. Everything burns down eventually. You really love her, huh? Of course I do. That's why I can't let go, no matter how low that choice makes me sink. Yeah, I think I understand.
So this is where all the magic happens, huh? I always expected the publishing office to be a little more glamorous, you know? Well, this is technically just our warehouse. The actual office is closer to downtown. What are we doing here, then? This is the job I was talking about. We've got a real situation on our hands with the strike right now and need the help. These orders aren't going to fill themselves and we can't afford to stagnate. Orders? You mean I'm shipping books out to stores or something? Well, not exactly. The company's selling off unused slipcovers and spines to a pulping plant overseas in China. It's a decent way to recoup some of the losses and we get a big environmental tax credit. <laughs> Paper doesn't grow on trees, you know. When you said you'd have work for me, I figured it'd be in my wheelhouse, you know? Putting letters into words, words into sentences, so on and so forth. Come on, Ash. You had your chance already. Now how many times do you expect me to stick my neck out for you? Wait, you said unused slipcovers. You're kidding me, right? You're literally having me pulp my own failures. What the fuck, Larry? Well, the boxes are sealed. I'll leave the mystery up to you. You're not our only failure on our books, you know? Right, because being the worst of the worst would still mean I'm the best at something. Hey, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll give you a minute to change and meet you downstairs. There's a uniform in the lockers over there. The foreman's kind of particular about it, so do me the favor of playing along. Whatever. Hey, maybe think of this as a new start. We're still a team, you know? Sure feels like it. Don't give me that, Ash. You're mad at yourself, not at me. Oh, gee, thanks, Larry! <laughs> Larry the psychiatrist! <laughs> We're still a team, right? Yeah! Go fuck yourself. You're a real fucking brat, you know that? Take a minute to collect yourself. I'll see you in five. I'm gonna go throw a temper tantrum because you're so mean. Phones by the coffee maker if you still need it. <laughs> Bye, Larry.